Hey everyone, it's Stephanie. It has been a while since my last video, which was the craft room cleanup, and I got a lot of feedback on that. So I am going to make another video about my, I guess, new craft room, um, or the way that I set it up newly. Uh, let's see, a lot of things have been going on. I was planning a wedding, and then I got married. I'm married. Um, but I wanted to come on today to share with you how I etch these glasses and these um, are like gifts for the bridesmaids and my maid of honor so if you want to find out how to etch glass then just stay tuned as far as the supplies you're going to need the armor etch and this can be found at Michael's you'll also need a template and I made this template using my silhouette cameo and of course some transfer tape this one is Cricut brand and I hate it, but it's the only one I had at the moment. Gloves are optional, but I do recommend them for the first time that you're doing this. You're also going to need something to brush the cream onto your glass, and I just use cotton swabs. I forgot to mention the most important part, which is the actual glass, but I figured that's a given. So one thing I forgot to show was how I made the stencil. And it's pretty easy, um, just like with any other vinyl things that you make with your Silhouette Cameo or with your Cricut, you just cut out the piece that you're going to use. And then the only difference is instead of weeding the background, which is the negative part, you're going to weed out the actual image or phrase or, or name, whatever the case may be. Once you have your stencil all set, you're going to take the transfer tape and you're going to adhere it to the stencil. And this is the reason why I hate Cricut brand transfer tape or transfer paper, whatever you want to call it, because it adheres too much. So transfer tape, what it's supposed to do is just supposed to pick up the product, in this case vinyl, and easily transfer it onto whatever surface you're working on. And with the Cricut one, it's too much adhesive so you'll see here i struggle for a little bit to get the actual pieces to stay on the glass So now I finally have this stencil on the glass and what I'm doing, well, I wish you could see what I'm doing, but I'm just taking out all the bubbles from all the letters. You're going to want to make sure that there are no bubbles or little openings around any of the letters or if you have an image around the image. This is just to prevent any of the cream getting anywhere besides your stencil. When you're ready to use the Armor Edge Cream, make sure to shake it really, really well. Now you're ready to add your cream. I apply a lot of cream uh, just to make sure that I'm covering everything. And you can actually reuse the cream but I don't have the patience to sit there and scrape it off, so I haven't been reusing it. But you can definitely do that. Before you go to wash it, you could just scrape off the excess cream and put it right back in the bottle. All right, so once you wash off the Armor Edge stuff, then you can just peel the vinyl. Just make sure that you get the little crevices as well. All 
Alright, so I didn't bring something upstairs to help me clean the glass as far as the water goes. But this is what it should look like. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this tutorial helped you if you are interested in making these yourself. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!